So the Huntington Beach real estate market is absolutely crazy. Just how crazy? We're gonna be diving into this month's monthly market update. My name is Lane. And I'm Scott. And we're with the Sack and Stone team at Seven Gables Real Estate. And I know Scott's gonna kick it away with new listings. Absolutely, new listing inventory is up 20% year over year from the same month this time in 2020. Now we have to remember that's a big number, but in the pandemic, Last year, everything was kind of shut down. A lot of people were still hesitant to put their homes on the market. Let's go on with the next stat, Lane. Yeah, we're looking at closed sales. Closed sales in April 2021 versus April 2020. So April 2020, we had 57 closed sales. That's not a whole lot because in April 2021, we had 121, so more than double in closed sales. And probably the reason why is the closed sales that happened in April mean that the escrows are starting and beginning around March. And this time last year, April 2020, um, or, excuse me, March 2020, we were kind of shut down for a couple of yeah, weeks. There yeah. wasn't much real estate activity and we weren't deemed essential. So that kind of makes sense why that number would be a little bit low. Absolutely. Now let's go to that days on market, which is how many days is your home going to be on the market once you go live and until you go under contract. Now this number hasn't changed that much from year over year, but we have to realize the last few years we've had historically low inventory and very high demand. That number is 12.7% downward from last year, meaning last year this time a house was on the market 24 days. Today it's just 21, which is three weeks. And that's fairly consistent again with the overarching marketplace that we've seen over the last five years. And those are averages where sometimes we're seeing things go within the first weekend. A lot of our listings oh, are absolutely. Sure. Yeah. So, um, another stat that we like looking at, we like looking at uh, percent of original list price received. So if a seller is going to put their home on the market for a particular price, what percentage are they receiving? In April 2020, 97.7%. So they were getting almost what they were asking for, but not quite the full 100%. April 2021, it is over 100%, 100.6%. Wow. So wow. sellers are getting even a little bit more than what they're asking for. Absolutely. Now drum roll because this is the number that everybody loves at the end of our videos, which is average sales price. What's my home worth actually right now today? And this is an amazing stat. We're almost to average price in HB of 1.5 million. It's actually 1.437 and change up from 1.225 and change last year. That represents a 17 point 3% increase year over year. That's the biggest number I think I remember in my career. But again, we have to remember it's month over month, year over year. So we'll continue to update you guys next week. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so let's recap real quick. New listings. Up 20%. Closed sales. Up 112%. Days on market. Down 12.5%. Percentage of ori original list price received. Up 2.9%. And sales price way up there. Way up, almost 20%. Yeah, we love doing these videos. Stay tuned for next month's monthly market update. Again, my name is Lane. And I'm Scott. Bye for now. See ya.